Hey guys, it's Monday. It's finally summer. So I'm finally out of school. I am literally so happy. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm planning on creating a very good and actually steady and consistent studying routine for my three languages that I'm learning. French, Italian, and Korean. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I do, my like thinking process, how I'm gonna organize my days. Let's just get right on into it. Okay guys, so this is the planner that I use every time I'm going to plan something like for like kind of like the long term. So I'm gonna go to the month of May because today is currently May 22nd. And yeah, so I'm going to be planning for the rest of May and then of course for the rest of June. So this is kind of how like I'm going to be planning like my language learning and everything. So yeah, I'm going to go into like this blank space where there's nothing and I'm going to start planning for all three languages. So I'm going to be obviously studying as you guys know, French, Italian, and Korean. Okay guys, so the first thing that I did when planning my language learning study plan was that I decided which, how much time I wanted to spend on each language. So as you can see here for French, I decided to spend 120 minutes each week because French is a language that I'm, pr I'm starting to feel pretty comfortable with right now. And so I want, I don't want to spend too much time, but also I want to dedicate, you know, some time to French throughout the week. So yeah. I did that and I also decided that I wanted to dedicate certain days to each language. So as you can see for French, I'm going to dedicate Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And then for Korean, I'm going to dedicate Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. And for Italian, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So that is how I'm going to like split up my time for the languages that I'm studying. And for Korean, as you, for Italian, I'm going to be spending 140 minutes each week for Italian. And then for Korean, I'm going to be dedicating 220 minutes because that is a language that I want to focus on a lot this, this year in general and this summer. And so I'm going to be dedicating a lot of time to Korean. So that's kind of how I plan out my language learning studying, how much time I want to dedicate each week. And so this summer, I'm planning on really dedicating myself to Italian and Korean. So yeah, that's how I'm going to be splitting up my time. One thing else that I also think is very important when planning out your schedule for anything in general, but in this case for languages, is to write out the goals. What do you want to focus on for what you are going to do? And in this case, I'm going to be planning out my goals for French, Italian, and Korean. And something that I want to work on a lot for, well, I have a lot of things that I want to work on, but for French, because I'm going to be taking an AP French class next year, I'm going to really dedicate to just focusing a lot on grammar and like conjug conjugations and listening a lot and speaking and writing. So those are the things that I'm going to be focusing on a lot this year, this summer for French. So for example, I'm going to focus on grammar, conjugation, and different tenses, reading, speaking, writing, listening, and vocab. For Italian, I'm planning on focusing on a lot on grammar and conjugations, mostly in the present, past, and future tenses, and reading, listening, and vocab. And for Korean, I'm also really focused on dedicating myself to spelling, like Hangul, and grammar, conjugation, speaking, listening, and vocab. And by listening, I mean like listening to like videos or podcasts or just anything in general that I want to listen to in those languages. So yeah, I think making yourself goals is very important to really have like a focus on what you're going to do for your study sessions. So after I'm done planning out everything that I want to focus on for like that week, I go ahead and go to like the main section of my calendar and I write out the three languages that I'm going to learn and the days that I'm going to be focusing on those languages. So for example, on Monday, I'm going to put French and Korean because those are the days that I'm going to focus on French and Korean and so on and so forth with the rest of the days of the week. And something that really helps me focus and like know what I'm going to be focusing on for that day is highlighting. Highlighting is something that I use all the time in school and in my language learning studies. So yeah, 
pick a certain highlighter that you're going to use for a certain language and use that throughout the entire throughout your entire like journal or whatever you're using to plan out your language learning and so I write the language at the top and on the bottom I write out what I'm going to be doing that day and how much time I'm going to be spending on that I think that is the best way to really like like use your time wisely I guess and so for example for Monday I have French and I'm going to be focusing on grammar and writing conju- writing with conjugations and so for grammar I'm going to focus on it for 25 minutes and then for conjugations on 15 minutes so that's kind of like my entire study session for that day and I really think that helps me narrow down like the loss of time like just focus on time management which just helps me like be more focused and actually know what I'm going to be doing So after I'm done planning for French, I go ahead and do the same exact thing for Korean and for Italian. I plan out how much time I'm going to be spending that session or that day on that language. And I go ahead and plan out my session and what I'm going to be doing for that day. So either grammar or reading, listening, whatever I want to focus on. But throughout the week, I like having variety because... It's, yeah, it's good to focus on grammar and focus on speaking and reading, but I feel like you need to have a variety in order to be able to fo- to be able to pro- pro- make progress in all of those different things that you're doing. So yeah. Guys, this is basically how I create my language study routine and plan, schedule, whatever you want to call it for language learning. I really hope this was helpful for you guys now that summer's coming up, you know, create some new hobbies, and start learning languages. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.